Okay, I'd like to take a look at Hey Joe. And um, we'll look at the open chords first, and then we'll look at the bar chords. Um, C, G, D, A, E7 sharp 9. Riff, E7 sharp 9. my C, I'm going to hit my root, which is the 5th string of the strum, G root, 6th string of the strum, D root, which is the 4th string of the strum, to A, 5th string of the strum, to my E string open while I make my E7 sharp 9, then I play this riff, E string open, back to the chord, E7, sharp 9. string. Instead of just playing that string open, I'm going to pull off to it. Then hit my, what for the longest time I called my Hendrix chord until I learned the proper name. It's an E7 sharp 9. And there's a diagram of it for you. And you can play this E7 sharp 9 and the E string can ring open because it's an E chord. If I were to play a 7 sharp 9 in the D form, I could not let this E string ring open because it wouldn't match, okay? So because it's an E 7 sharp 9, I can let the E string ring. Um, this riff comes from my E minor pentatonic. The song is in the key of E, so here's my E. Pentatonic, and if I expand it, I like to slide into that first note, and I like to give the last note some vibrato. Now, if we want to do this with bar chords, we have a C root, which is the 5th string, strum, G, which is the 6th string, strum, root, my D is on the 5th string, and strum, my A is on the 6th string, here, and strum,
spin this, which adds a four to a chord. better on an electric guitar. I'm going exactly 12 frets above where my third finger is and slapping playing a G down here and going up an octave higher and playing a G here. Again going 12 frets above where my ring finger is. 